Cross, 32 additional units needed for 245 Time Element, 19th Street and Rice Alley in 3B. Point is advising they just witnessed a stabbing. We're still getting further. So 245 Time Element, additional units needed, 19th Street and Rice Alley in 3B. Send 3 to copy. 3 copy. Go ahead and cross if you have to. Send me check. Charles 7-8 and Charles 7-9, I'm going to start you. 19th Street and Rice Alley in 3B for a 245 Time Element. 32, I copy you're in Rock Code 3, Charles 78 as well. Two Charles Six One, we got a tap hit. Charles Six One, go ahead. Southbound power at Folsom, one minute ago. Seven John Sam John nine eight three. Check. Six One, it goes. Says still come back to eight fifty one. Additional units to eight fifty one last evening. Southbound powering from Folsom. The two thousand fifteen Chevrolet Sonata. Good. Charles 36, you can clear it, send our way, and we're going to be in route to that 245. 36, check. 35, we're going to start you as well. Charles 78 and 78, you can go for it. So we're around to the stabbing. It was 19, what was the alley? Rice Alley, we still do not have a suspect or a victim description. <laughs> District 6 units, the uh, LPR hit from Power and Impulse Boulevard. It's a 2015 Chevrolet four door. Seven John Sam John nine eight three. That's a black Chevrolet four door. Seven John Sam John nine eight three. Last name from Power Inn and Folsom Boulevard in sixty one ago. Two twelve eighty nine. We're in that area. Can you put us on that, please? Okay. Twelve eighty six. I copy your code three as well. Twelve eighty six. Twelve eighty six. Twelve eighty six. Okay. We're going to be in front of uh, Safeway uh, here on R. I guess the suspect is a Mel White in his 60s, uh, thin build. He left uh, eastbound towards the, uh, the railroad track. Coffee, I missed the supplement. They said he was standing in front of Kids Coffee at 1834. They give a male white adult 6'1 black hooded sweatshirt and another subject, a male white adult 6'1 in a dark colored t shirt. So, uh, six, uh, the six year old, what's he wearing? Six-foot, black-hooded sweatshirt, and a male white adult, 6'1", dark-colored t-shirt. We also have a second caller saying it's a male white in the 60s, 5'10", no further on the clothing. Check, you know, with the victim narrowed down, please. Start negative copy. You know, with the victim narrowed down the clothes on the uh, suspect, please. 35, uh, I had one witness saying he went northbound on R, and I have another witness going and he went uh, eastbound around this building. It's a capital rubber company. And 35, just confirming we have fire and route. Uh, we got two victims. They're, they're talking. So it looks like they have some lacerations to their arm. And uh, one to the ear. That's from fire station. 373, copy. 373, check. I'm sorry, you said they're staging. If they are, they're clear to enter. A male white adult 6'1 black hoodie and a male white adult 6'1 in a dark colored t shirt. Second caller advised the age range is approximately 60s. Uh, I got a pop, so he's not wearing a hoodie. He's got like a black beanie, but he seems kind of 5150. He's going northbound on 17th from R if you got a unit nearby. Check you to unit to assist 17th and R. RG39, Charles 33 is headed that way. Copy, he's just uh, still walking northbound, just crossing the track on 17th. Check. He's on 17th, he's still Yeah, he's 17th in Q right now, still walking north. 39, you at the RT tracks? No, I'm at 17th in Q, and he's uh, walking westbound across the street now. RT 39 from Charles Church, I'm with you. RT 36, I'm at 16th in Q. RT 36, check. Negative, copy. Three units, what up? Copy, RT units, Steve is for you. Charles, Detroit, the same. Go, Beaver. Check. Black 9, wood 906. Black 9, check. Alright, get another unit or two. What's there done with that one? Uh, just east of the scene, underneath the railroad track, south side of that uh, uh, capital uh, rubber company. Copy, 
There's a couple guys laying down underneath the tracks there. Sam 3 from uh, Green 34. Go ahead. Available for a phone call. Yeah, no problem. Spike 9 with the uh, details on the call again. Spike 9, they said it was a 922 subject on a K Street side of the garage saying he wanted to kill himself. Male white 70s, black leather jacket, gray pants, and black shoes. So another male white adult with white hair and a gray beard. All black clothing appeared to be helping him. So the units on the 245, they can check the railroad tracks east of the scene. Charles 31, I'll check that. Green CS60 from Control 61, you can cut forward to the amount. I copy that. Uh, Sam 3 from uh, 35. Sam 3, go ahead. Uh, just a heads up, uh, media is showing up and they're asking for you. Copy, I'll be in route. Control copy. Control 35, uh, have we made up a CSI call yet? I'm getting one started now. Alpha 19, you can show me en route to that. Alpha 19, check. Did it with traffic? Charles 35 from Charles 33. Uh, traffic for 35? Hey, for, from 33, can anybody ID? Negative. Five three standby. I might have one. Copy, we're ready for a show up at Q and 17. Okay, uh, yes, we have uh, one person. So, uh, where, what's your 95? Do it in 17. Okay, give us a few. Charles 31, any more on the suspect description? Sir, you to can, can advise further on the suspect? Okay, Charles 35, uh, looks like the can't do is still show up. Uh, the person who can identify is one of the victims and she's getting transported. Charles 35, uh, Medic 6 is going to be transporting both our victims to uh, UC Davis. 35 check. Star from Charles 31, the guy's under the uh, Railroad tracks aren't going to check out. Alright, thank you for checking. Uh, control will be clear. Check. Control 35, I'm 33. Go ahead for 35. We're still standing by 17 and Q Queen for a show if there's any way around. Okay, um, yeah, stand by, please. The past seven and a half minutes show you the dedication of our police officers and support by the outside agency, the Sacramento Sheriff's Air Unit, in searching for a very violent set of subjects who stabbed innocent victims outside of Safeway. We often never know the final outcome of such incidents, but we do recognize the hard work and support that our officers give to citizens of our city. They're just too few and the resources too thin. Our Crime Watch Community Patrol hopes to resume our patrol activities with our district officers and particularly Safeway since it's become a problem again after a very successful outcome last year and early this year. The community is concerned and rightfully so and we should do everything we can to support our police officers. Thank you for listening.